The top five things I wish I understood better before I entered the field. One, real world networks are massive compared to training labs. This is why time management and task prioritization are essential skills once you become a full-time penetration tester. These are skills that training oftentimes fails to prepare you for. Two, real world environments are far more secure than training labs. This makes finding critical vulnerabilities not only harder, but more frustrating for pen testers who are used to hacking intentionally vulnerable systems. Three, in the real world, clients may dispute your findings. They do this because sometimes they don't understand the finding or sometimes they just wanna look better on the report. Either way, it is essential to have good ethical judgment, clear communication, and high standards of excellence. Four, pen testing looks exciting from the outside, but in reality, it's more about documenting vulnerabilities than it is hacking like in Mr. Robot. If you want that thrill, you should consider a path into red teaming. Even then, I'm so convinced it's still not like your favorite Darknet Diaries episode. Five, I thought I would be immune to it and I thought it was a little bit of a myth, but burnout and pen testing is real and it sneaks in when the excitement starts to fade and the grind starts to set in, especially if you are pursuing other demanding pursuits. For me, that was grad school and content creation. For you, that might be raising a family or getting a gold medal in underwater basket weaving. Despite these challenges, becoming a penetration tester has been a great decision for me and I wouldn't trade it for anything.